Okay, so welcome back to my channel if you have came back. So here we are with another part. So now we're gonna go we're trying to serve this solve this most case. So let's go back upstairs. Oh, you're already waiting up here. Hey. I said we bust in there and find the Let's see so. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so now we're gonna go question this her boy, attitude. her Angel, husband. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment. That was the last time I saw her. Mm hmm. Last contact with the victim. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Now, let me look at the evidence. So, the neighbors, something, right? No. Neighbors and just and just presented something from the apartment. I think he's telling the truth. But he's looking around, so, like, why? Okay, so. <laughs> I gotta use my intuition. I don't wanna use it. Uh, ask the community. They're, oh, he's lying. Okay, we're gonna go with that. You're lying, Angel. Husband's alibi? I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Oh, God. Don't tell me I didn't miss no evidence. Remember <laughs> no span, uh, uh. This? <laughs> That's the only way I know. Uh. We have a witness okay. who confirms that you were arguing. That was right. That your wife <laughs> ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad. But it's not true. We argued, all right? But she went out, and I went out after her, and you jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. Hmm. With the car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. Brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but... We weren't getting a divorce. Lies. But let me make sure before I accuse. Okay. Now I can accuse you. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice size. Well, she like pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Oh, really? Uh, right about here. The judge had mm -hmm. set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Hmm. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. I mean... I slapped her down. She ran out. Why would you That's do that? What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? Lord, he's size 8. <laughs> That's when even we worse. found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Mm -hmm. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Hmm. He's the way he's telling the truth. Uh, let's see here. There's no proof of evidence exactly of this. I'm gonna have to go with good. No wait. Uh, dang it! I'll use my intuition. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna have to go with good cop. I'm looking at. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with bad cop here. Looks like somebody broke into uh, the room and stole course. her things there, too. I was Why'd wrong. Why'd you do it, Angel? <laughs> Dang it. I was wrong. I was home with Hippolito. Dang it. I was wrong. Your wife has been brutally murdered. 
Literally. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Lies. <laughs> hmm. Could I use that? <laughs> no, I can't use that. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this... Quit staring at me like that. Or what you gonna do about it? <laughs> anyway, bitch ass. Anyways. Y'all know that's not me doing that. That's the damn controller. Okay. I'm gonna have to lie him out and you're go with that and hope for the best. You and your brother's in on it. I feel like he's lying. You don't anyway. know what you're saying. Why would I do that? I mean, I don't know. Like, your shirt is the one covered in blood here. Like, oh, I almost clicked that one. Uh, of course, I get the wrong one. Brother, but he would never lie for me about killing Antonio. I must have missed a he clue somewhere. One it. last question. Two Abe. out of four. Do the words "kiss the blood" mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. Now what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. El Dorado Bar. We should go there. The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt um, bye. <laughs> You're driving. You're behind the wheel. So, I'll see you guys over there. Hell. El Dorado Bar. I think I should have went here first to collect evidence. I swear I should have. What can I get you? LAPD. <sighs> Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You yeah. worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. <laughs> but yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. Hmm. Tell she was us so more. last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. And what is this letter? Hmm. Okay. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No hmm. need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time hmm. did she leave? Can't say for sure. Okay, you nosy ass know everything else. You're lying, but you gotta. I don't have no proof of that, so we're gonna have to go back up. Where did she go? Mm -hmm. Give me something, or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. Okay. She seemed reluctant. Movements of a victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Mm. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Well, I feel like he's not lying about that. But like, I have no proof on that. <laughs> she attract any okay. interest? An extremely drunk right. young woman? What do you think? 
She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. Okay, You've two out of two. Help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. Probably lying. Anyway. <laughs> Where's, uh, okay. Let me go and make sure. Where's that phone at? <laughs> Over here. Okay, so it was. So it was out of order. <laughs> Hold on. Um, smoking kills, child. Nothing around here I should know about. Okay. Walking into walls. Love it. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From to where? what? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place. Officer. Lies. Lie. Don't tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse Keep. me. I have to get on with this. Well, now you gotta leave. Fine. Yeah. Thanks. Can't we just nail him or something? Bitch, come back here. <laughs> I'm watching you, bitch. Where you over there go? Oh, just across the street. Mm-hmm. Walk away. <laughs> I walk down here to the phone. <laughs> I can't believe these were the phones back in the day. Like, imagine. <laughs> like, seriously. But these are really phones back in the day. How could I help, Detective? Messages, please. That's the guy from the papers. Solve that big case. Bitch. Grown men playing at being boy. Uh huh. Okay. We should go to Just Pick Fruits because that's right there. But I'm driving. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Oh. These letters. That's the, oh the oh my yeah. gosh! You owe me. Yeah. Now we sent another. <sighs> You know, I really hate hit and run, bro. This like, black Dahlia guy. Okay, see the shit. body. Oh, good, they're open. Here we are at Just Pick Fruits. Did you? <laughs> did you just see that? <laughs> he just the glitched. Is left just up there, overlooking the market. He just glitched through this thing. Could have come here from the start. I want to arrest him. <laughs> Sus. I want to arrest this dude. Like, seriously. Sir, I'm the... Wait. You look familiar. Same guy. Hey. <laughs> from the bar, right? Who brings you here? Sus. LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? Mm -hmm. 21 years old. Hispanic. <laughs> sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? <laughs> Okay. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Mm. Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. I don't have no evidence, obviously, so I'm going to have to bad cop this, right? Exactly yeah. how much fruit Had to be do bad you cop. sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side of the after-hours crowd. We know. I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Anyways, the young lady arrived around midnight. Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. Ugh. Let me make sure I'm gonna evidence. Hmm. <laughs> other than the brown Ford coupe. Wait. Hmm. He's not too sure because he's keep looking around. Hmm. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado. I had didn't to back up it. Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. Hmm. 
She had me back until last night. Good moments. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. What was it? Okay, now that I probably believe because we have the Ford Coupe. He's looking at us. So I was right. The car? Okay, good. Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Mm. She seemed to know the guy. Two people said the same thing. Do you mind if we look around? Three out of three, correct? Why would you want to do that? Because mind your business. We say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have mind rights. your business. Lem? Shh. Period. Shut up. <laughs> right, where are we looking? Nah, they wouldn't keep it. If you're hiding something, you're gonna hide it in the back. <laughs> so where's the back? Let's do these double doors. Oh, we just kicking doors. Okay. No wonder Ooh. he stays open late at night. Oops, People selling. Have to get their vitamins. Drugs. Get through this stuff before we get back out there. You, I'm arresting. <laughs> I better not find no clues in here. So what are we hiding in here? Ooh. This thing needs a combination. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all remember? At the crime scene. At that crime scene. No. Oh wait. Clues. The dot pattern. Two dots. Five and three. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Two dots. This one is five. And the other one was three. Because remember at the crime scene, you guys, there was a pattern. Oh. Is this the. Is this what the wife was wearing? That religious necklace? Yep, might have been. Ooh, someone's going to jail. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to jail. What's that in there? You don't see those bloody clothes? Cole, look in there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't look in there. Okay, I can't look in there. All right. Yo, he is going down. What else in here? <gasps> What's this? I cut someone who was already dead. Ooh. <laughs> it's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Wow. I've seen it during the war. What's this? This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds. He's getting to jail. Before he pulls his fucking arms off. You come back here. Oh, they always gotta run. Oh, he's getting in the car and running away. Come on. Okay, looks like I'm driving. Looks like I'm driving. All right. Damn it, get out of there, Cole. Let's go. Police chase. I try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. I uh, hope you got good aim. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Yes, but I'm not. Oop, I'm sorry for that. Should have grabbed him when we had the chance, though. Ah. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Yes. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Ah, shoot. It's strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Yeah, he think. wouldn't be caught. A lot of them do. Oh, I move. oh my god, that was your fault. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. You yeah, think? He's all over the place. It's almost too perfect, ah, isn't it? Shit. There's no such thing as too perfect. Shoot his tire. Goodness gracious. Hit You're right cold. there. Spin him out. But say God, leave. Oh, get out the damn car. Piss me off. You're going to jail. You got some explaining to do, partner. Now, could he have killed her? Like, looks like it, too. And he Sick wanted to. 
We need help. <laughs> but did he do it or not? Because, like, what is this? Job on this case, gentlemen. You're not drinking the beer. Poor woman can now rest in peace. <laughs> I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. Mm hmm I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Oh, the other free beer you want. <laughs> Me, I'd have took a few cases, maybe all of them. <laughs> oh, oh, that was all. Case notes: With a body on his doorstep, the DA may look to send Clemson into the gas chamber. <laughs> hey, <laughs> next case. The white shoes slain. This is our next case. Ooh, on a dark rainy night. <laughs> oh, another a woman that's drunk. Oh lord. Oh my. Morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. Mm -hmm. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. Mm -hmm. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Another murder victim. Skipper, right. is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many I didn't come to Let's move. Now we gotta go to the next case because there's another body once again. All these bodies turning up. I'm like, oh. Greetings from sunny oh, California. It's, it's dark. Stop. Oh, so now we're in the darkness of. Now it's just dark and rainy. Oh, that's kind of deep. Can you drive to this one? Yeah, I don't do this. You drive. Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Right. Yeah, California's love of that, Phelps. I see you guys over the there. Hold up. And here we are at the crime scene. Detectives. Twelve seventeen p.m. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. All right. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have mm -hmm. so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Dang. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Again? Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Oh, they should Knock got clothes on this time. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. Right. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. Green oh, silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Oh, what's this? There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. We got to go there. Well, at least we got no wedding ring on that side. What about the other? Uh, no ready ring. Okay, that's good. So this person is single and not married. So. Alright. Unrealistic, but okay. Wait, what's... Oh. 
Okay, nothing important I but a bottle. So. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Catch all the good ones, fellas. Huh. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Mm-hmm. Y'all know something that's weird? What if this killer is the same one that's been killing everyone else? Because we've been locking up these husbands left and right, and <laughs> there's still people dying. Women dying, I should say. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. What if it's a Ford? Alright, music off, so that means we're good there. What's, what's this? Another police. There's some lady. Okay. Alright. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady mm -hmm. thinks she has something for us. Oh, you do? What's up? Detective Phelps, <laughs> LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Okay, what have you seen? Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Girl. <laughs> Imagine if I just accuse her. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. Mm. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Mm-hmm. Wait, Cole. Alright, so we're going back over here to make a phone call. Okay. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I, help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. 1260 West 1st Street. Perfect. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Damn, that was fast. Temple <laughs> and Sunset. Thank you. All right. Well, next case. We're going to go to uh, the laundry thing first. Oh, you're already in the car waiting, chill. <laughs> Wait, you're not. You're driving. I'm not. You can drive. We're gonna where go to exactly the. Where are we going? Superior Laundry first. <laughs> Let's go. No I'll message. meet you guys over there. Excuse me. Okay, let's go back. We can change back into those white bucks now. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Mm -hmm. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. Take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. All right. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? What was the address? <laughs> I'm just gonna do this until I find it. <laughs> okay, I found it. See? This is T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. All right. Bye. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? I gotta look anything else. 
Hmm. Making sure there's nothing I gotta look at over here. <laughs> That's the... Okay, yeah. Now? You know the way. You can drive. We're gonna go to this Fine. woman's house, I Where think. Where are we headed? The house. The victim's house. Get in the car. Alright, I'll see you guys over there. Now we have arrived to the victim's house, I think. This house looks a mess. <laughs> Who leaves shoes outside? <laughs> I mean, inside, yeah, but not outside where someone can steal. Who is this? Hello? Yes? He looks suspicious. <laughs> is your wife home, sir? <laughs> My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. She ain't had no wedding ring, so I got divorced. And what she was wearing. We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, mm -hmm. open-toed white shoes. Well, those, those we couldn't find. Shoes. And we come in, Mr. Tarleton. I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. Not in front of the kids. Afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. Uh -oh. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, <clears throat> but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't uh, think this procedure? Why are you all you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's twins. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's Aww. gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. Aww. What's the problem, Carlson? I'm sorry, that's search. not gonna happen. Uh, hide. That's so sad. You wanna hear something funny, Carlson? Oh. I wonder why the picture was turned down. We all know. <laughs> she doesn't have a ready ring on. We saw that. Need to check if she was a regular. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. What was that? Okay. What is this? A purse? Not sure this means much. I look like a purse. <laughs> okay. I thought it was a purse. Because we couldn't find that at the crime scene. Not in the closet. Okay. Uh, scale of the kids room. Not much help. <laughs> What's this? Hasn't given me anything to go on. The same thing, but I'm gonna look at it anyway. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Yeah, smoking. <laughs> hmm. Oh. A very diverse family. I said, I said diverse. You'd excuse me, ladies. Wait, what's this? This doesn't pertain to the case. Just making sure. Let's go. Oh, is this a purse? Found it. So she went out without her handbag. Well, found it. Okay. <laughs> She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Right. Ready money. <laughs> okay. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Hmm. Doesn't pertain to anything. Like the last ones where they had a lipstick written all over them. 
Oh, what's this? Boots. Muddy boots. Size eights. We can see if Picker can match the impression of the crime scene. Oh. And the clothes right there too, but I looked at those. Anything outside? Oh. Mars was out in the rain last night. What you doing? Clues. <laughs> Anything special outside? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you outside too? Okay. The boat. Oh, the rope. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. Ooh. All right. Well, that's it. Now we're going to question him. For the record, Mr. Tarleton. What is your wife's name? Teresa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Mm-hmm. Well, why would he love? Ugh. Can I good cop it? <laughs> So you don't know anyone who would want her dead? No. Not me getting the first one wrong. Okay. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? Now this That's part I should... had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. What about the wet clothes exactly? Because if you went out... No. Nah. Hmm. Muddy boots or the wet jacket. You let okay. Your drunk wife leave I was low-key about to Look, accuse I him. Angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. Okay. She cool. goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin and calls me. Don't bring her home. Hmm. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I don't think she was happy at home. <laughs> What evidence do I have that she was happy at home? Back up. Spill it, okay. Terrelson. We like Good. the look of you for this, so you better give us something. Was Loki about the accuse again? The party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. Mm. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. Hmm. Okay. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Okay. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Lie. <laughs> okay. Now, let's look at it this way. Before I do anything. There's a thing of wet boots. Wet boots, wet men's spray jacket, right? Hey, I'm gonna have to go with the wet jacket. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Can I put like all options? Like, wet jacket. <laughs> like, wet jacket. <laughs> the wet jacket and muddy boots. There's a wet jacket and muddy boots. Like, which one do I pick? Because, well, wet jacket. Right? Wet jacket? Whoa. Oh, I was right. So, Lars, we found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. Oh, well, you? Noticed. 
Hmm. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. No, no. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlson. Oh. You'll need to go downtown to the brass. Body. I should have okay. taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to Braj, be given into them your entire life. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Mm-hmm. Pick up the phone. Let's Operator, give, phone. give me dispatch. Putting you through now. now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? <laughs> can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate your time, sir. Yeah. Okay. So here we're going to end the episode off, you guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you stay to the end to see this, please like and subscribe for more. And I appreciate your time. And I'm going to be posting more, obviously, because we got to get these murderers off the streets. Thanks for tuning in again. Signing off. Good night.